Coming up on Local 3 News at 11, Dade County aims to be safer during severe weather with three new storm shelters. Plus a new warning from the government that the global shortage of computer chips is slowing the economy and could force some factories to close. Local 3 News at 11 starts now. This is Local 3 News at 11. Good evening, thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Glover. In North Georgia, a major step forward in storm preparedness. Emergency officials expect their storm shelters to be operational for emergencies by the end of this week. This comes in response to the 2011 tornadoes that swept across the southeast. Liam Collins is live in the studio with more, including the price tag for this enhanced safety. Liam. Yeah, hey Greg, this has been a project Dade County has been looking at for almost six years now. They were approved for a $1.4 million grant for those three shelters after se several severe storms ran through the Tennessee Valley and they crossed another major milestone in that project today. Another step toward getting ready for the next severe threat. Dade County Emergency Management Director Alex Case watched as the final piece of the county storm shelter puzzle arrived at the sports complex. Any severe thunderstorm warning could be potentially wind damage or anything. This gives people in Case's hometown a place to go to ride that out. Four blocks of solid cement will eventually make up one of three tornado shelters in Dade County. The buildings will be able to hold more than 800 people between the three of them and withstand winds of up to 250 miles per hour. This is all spurred off the 2011 tornadoes that we had throughout this tri-state area and all the devastation. Those storms devastated parts of our area. More than 300 people were killed across the southeast. Dade County was declared an area of concern, and in 2016, the county applied for and received a $1.4 million FEMA grant to prepare for future storms. We put in storm shelters. We put in uh, areas where we got flooding that we can redo, outdoor warning sirens. Nearly six years later and the shelters will be welded to the foundation already set in every corner of Dade County. We want them to be accessed at any time. Uh, they're going to be safe, secure with uh, security monitoring in them. The shelters will be set up with six inch concrete walls, bathrooms and will require passcodes to enter. Those codes will be given out in the event of a major storm. Prepare yourself. You need to make sure that people have things. If you do come to these, you need to have your medicines, your clothes, your blankets and things like that. Now, Gay says they still need to lay down electricity and plumbing after they attack the buildings to those foundations. He expects that to be finished this week, but even before they do that, he says it will be safe to use in the event of a serious emergency. We have a list of all three of those locations to the shelters inside the local three app grid. Liam, thanks. They had some good weather to get that construction going. Hope you were able to enjoy the last couple of days because Chief Meteorologist David Carnes says a change is on the way. And David, these oh, very much. milder evenings have led to some uh, good opportunities to sky gaze, too. Uh, do a little bit of that. Yeah, a lot of folks sending in some good pictures of sunsets and just beautiful weather that they experience, but uh, that is pretty much gone now. Well, the, still a pretty uh, sight, but you do have to put on a couple of coats before you go out there. Here's our view at MissionRidge.com camera, and we're looking okay right now. Uh, this was earlier, and take a look at this. Boy, I have got to get up there. Granny Squirrel Gap. That is uh, just outside of Andrews, North Carolina. What a beautiful, beautiful sunset. And if you have a picture, you can send it to weather at local3news.com. And thank you to Carrie for sending in that beautiful picture. We'll take a look at this one. Our good friend Mike Madalena, he sends in pictures all the time. He's a great photographer. And he caught this one of the moonset. This is uh, Fredonia Mountain and just absolutely gorgeous there as well. The moonset. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys for sending those pictures in. And we have a couple of other really awesome ones. One of eagles coming up later in the show. Don't want to miss that. Uh, 35 degrees right now in Chattanooga. It is blustery. I was out about an hour ago, and boy, you can feel that wind. It really bites, especially here up on the hill where we work. 29 degrees right now in Murphy. Goodness, 34 in Athens and 30 degrees already in Dayton. With that wind blowing out of the north, that 35 feels like 26. It feels like 18 in uh, Mon Eagle temperatures running well below where they were this time yesterday. Uh, Sky watchers checking in with highs basically in the upper 50s. Look out mountain 52 degrees and moving into tomorrow. Uh, we're going to see it starting out cold and warming up to only the 40s. We'll have more details coming up. Greg.